We do all the work. Oh, it's simple. I could have put twice as much in there. See ya. playing with this. He's, like, he's, he's look, he's right there. You see him? Okay, so now it is time for me to linseed oil the outside of the bunkie. Um, so I'm just doing linseed oil, the same thing that I did on the inside. But I am going to do something a little bit different for the door and the trim around the door and then the trim around the windows on both sides. I'm going to do a blue finish. It's the same blue that I painted on the chapel, which is our outhouse. Um, so if you remember that blue, it's not like very intense bright blue is just gonna be like a stained outside kind of blue look so I think that will add some dimension and make it look good and then the rest will just be the linseed oil so let's do it
I think this is gonna make it up the stairs. It's gonna be challenging. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty steep. Here, uh, let's back it up and come in more straight. Ready? Yeah, you push up all here. Oh, it feels like a cakewalk right now. It's not all the. <laughs> it's because you're doing all the work. Oh, it's simple. I could have put twice as much in there. Oh, no problem. That was smooth as silk. <laughs> That was like butter. Ooh, you can really. See if you get a gold star. The shorter of the two here, the longer of the two there. This one's in more of darkness, so it'll have wasabi as well as other low light plants, and then this one, whatever you want. Can you, uh, like a silver handle there at the bottom? Satisfying to you? <laughs> well, I mean, we had this since day one. <laughs> day one. Oh, we have to take him down the road now in, in that. Load up, load up. Oh. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> oh my god. I... Getting all the wood chips, throwing the herbs in the hole. <laughs> Kai gets jealous. Oh my jealous. God. Oh my God. Puma loves the chips. Ah. If he if he keeps doing that, Nicole's gonna fall into the dip. <laughs> or do the splits. Nicole's gonna be doing the splits. Just as long as you get it like this, it'll be perfect because I'll screw them. You hold this side. On that end, I'll hold this side. See ya. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Into the forest. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I 
gonna hold it. Okay, ready? Yep. Okay, now get ready to jump out of the way. So we've got a bunch of uh, leek starts and uh, bunching onions and bulb onions and there's so many inside each cup and I'm a big proponent of, you know, you need to have strength and sensitivity, yin and yang, and in life, but gardening is no different. And if you can have sensitivity, you can divide these out and really triple your money sometimes or more. So I'm gonna see if I can get two or three plants out of each of these. Typically, I'm already breaking the Jake Mace rules, and one rule is I do this in the early, early morning or in the evening. I don't like to divide plants out, stress them, and then um, have the sun hit them right away, but I just couldn't do it. There's too many bugs, and the bugs give me a break in the sun, so I am going to water these right away after. We'll see if they make it. <clears throat> How far apart are you going with these guys like that? Yeah, they can be, I would say, eight inches apart. Okay. And we'll put the bunching, I'll do the bunchings in the middle. Okay, bed number two, and this is the Earth Day bed. Earth Day! Even though every day is Earth Day. <laughs> True. I know you want to, come on, come on. It's in your favorite car, I know. Turn around. So we got three things of parsley and then probably tomorrow, because it's getting crazy with the mosquitoes right now, I'm gonna plant cilantro uh, seeds, starting from seed, and then some basil probably over there. Cool. Yeah. Alright, so 
So another beautiful day here on Como Rebi. We've had like two weeks of straight beautiful sunshine and it's supposed to rain today for the first time in forever it feels like which is good it's good for the garden it's good for the trees um, it's good for all the the stuff that we've just been planting and it's gonna love the rain it's quite a chore watering the garden um, by hand as you guys have seen <laughs> working on a better system before the summer hits um, but yeah it's supposed to rain today which is nice so it's cloudy so this is um, these are the two raised beds that Jake and I made yesterday and the day before. We just finished it up yesterday. You guys seen us plant some cilantro, parsley, and two basil plants. So I'm gonna fill the rest with some more basil. We have, um, <laughs> nice pig call. That's a Sasquatch call. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm planting three more different types of basil because if you guys have been following along, you guys know that we love pizza. We have a whole pizza oven right behind me. Um, so this is a perfect spot for basil. We can just grab it, put it on our pizza. So I'm gonna plant three different types of new variety of basil. And then I'll also be planting another type of cilantro. So we have these three cilantros and then this is a dwarf lemon cilantro. Hey, what are we doing out here? Suffering. <laughs> suffering. I think our videos uh, get more views when we suffer. People want to watch us have a hard time. Mm. We're standing in what's usually like the death zone because everything out here is 40 years of, of holes and mulch and you can fall the way to your neck. People saw me fall in the last video blog. We're gonna extend this deck. We have this water tank you guys can kind of see. We're gonna extend the deck so it covers the water tank. Uh, we're gonna add a second water tank so we have more shower water and kitchen water which comes from these rainwater catches. And then we're going to put these posts, you guys saw me draw knife and prepare. These are gonna be our anchor posts. We have a little bit of sand and gravel rock and we brought over some, uh, a few little bags of cement to make these guys concrete in the ground. And after the deck is extended, we're gonna put this up here and then shoot this out into the garden so that you can walk up these stairs. I'll mill the wood for these stairs. You can walk up these stairs and do the walk stove and light the fire and uh, then walk down the stairs into the garden. As you can tell, Nicole sounds thrilled for this project. No, it's, it's just a lot of work. We're gonna I know also... I'm going to enjoy it. It's, it's, it's needed because we need to extend this deck out and we need to start the pathways into the garden and this is the first step. It's just a lot of work and it's very hard to walk around in here and it's just yeah um, and the bugs are out and the bugs are out so but it needs to be done and i i know i'm gonna love it and enjoy it so and then when we're finished we're gonna put the banister around the whole deck so we have some more safety and then uh 
a hammock bed in the deck as well, people will see. Yeah. Made with old fishing nets. I mean, it feels like I'm on the ground now. I'd say all the time, you know, we talked to the previous guy that logged this area 40 years ago, and he said that this old logging road used to be six feet above the native ground, and then he took two feet off of it to build other roads. So it's now four feet above native ground. That looks about right, right? Yeah. I'm six two, and then that's like four feet up there. Cause like I'm standing on the ground and all of this was man-made, you know, 40 years ago, multiple, maybe even, it could have been 80 years ago when they first logged it. Just want the bottom here. I just do not want to dump this because this is like valuable right now. We don't have much left. Push. Get it over. Okay, hold it steady because I got bugs in my head. Oh shit, it's going to dump, isn't it? Is this a good, is this a good angle for this? Oh shit! <laughs> I was slowly losing it. <laughs> Or something, so I let this go, it won't be like that. I want to hit this. That looks perfection. Right. No, don't touch it. <laughs> That's the original level we started with th almost three years ago. I can't believe it's not broken. Yeah, get it, babe. This one is three times heavier than the last one. Why do you think that is? It's a different tree, different species. One was spruce, one was hemlock. And look at the thickness. It's like almost twice the thickness. The camera doesn't pick up how heavy these are. anything or you want to stroll bye all right three posts in the ground Woo. we need one more but we'd have to we don't have a post so we'd have to go and no, what cut we it need and... is is there a month vacation if anybody wants to send us on a month vacation somewhere we need some time off <laughs> i'm hungry <laughs> i'm taking a break or i'm done for the day and i'm gonna cook something i'm hungry like always, I feel like I always say that. Hey. Hey. I think that the potatoes have grown enough that we can uh, put another layer of soil there. Awesome. Yeah, you're swarmed by black flies. It's bad, yeah. Let's make a just rudimentary sifter and then we'll make it more professional later. Two more. Get it, babe. You can kind of bend it so it kind of stays like sunk down a little bit. Okay, I'll shovel in and then you just kind of like shake it like that. Okay. All right. Dude, it's like zombies and they're all... You can, you the can camera can pick them up, yeah. Well, you can see them, yeah. So it's not mosquitoes yet, it's just these like black flies. Good job, way to save. Should I water it really quick or? Yeah. I think it's gonna rain, so let the rain do it. Okay. 
All right, I'll hold this while you do that. Cool. Looks like good potato soil there. Yeah, it does. I'm gonna go where you're standing. Yeah, pull it. Pull it on that angle and pull it down that way. Okay, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Shake up the dirt off there if I miss it. Okay. Good shape. Oh, yeah, you're so cute. <laughs> you're so cute. You're adorable, huh? Yeah, I love you. So funny. You're so funny. He's like by <laughs> nipping at me. Maybe you can keep filling it all the way to the to the top, and then when the I'll call Master Joe, Garden Master Joe. Off-grid master Joe has a homestead down the way. He said that the blue jays will stop messing with your potatoes once you put that second layer of soil on there. Mm. They really, I mean, I guess, yeah, we've been keeping the net over it, but. Yeah. All righty. Planting some more fruit trees now. Let's do it. Hey, the garlic's looking really good there. Yeah, it is. Also, if you guys can see here, we got some celery popping up and some lettuce right here. Another little celery guy. Here's our carrot bed. As you can see, they're popping up everywhere. It's amazing. And down there as well, see little carrot tops. And then just over here in the same bed, we have beets coming up right here. Little beet tops. Some here, over here as well. Popping up all over the place. Hapuma. Is it looking good? Stay. What are we doing this for? This is for the cats until the plants get to a certain size, then I'm sure they'll leave them alone, but. I think this is for their little box, litter box. I'm not trusting them. And that will scare them enough to keep them away. Like, number one insect problem we have is slugs in this area, right? Yeah. Somebody online I saw a gardening forum where somebody said they take slugs, they they slice them all up, and they oh, put yeah. them, make like a sun tea out of them. They put them like in water and make a sun tea, then they spray that on all the plants. So you want to do that, or you want to try copper flashing? We'll try copper flashing first. Is that awesome? Yeah, thank you. Okay, go on.
Okay, so that experiment was a bust. Yeah. Well, no, not a bust. Yeah, we learned something. I mean, there's so many different types of slugs. So like, that's just one type. And, and on the raised bed, we three or four times, he went up to the copper and then turned away. Yeah. But on the time lapse one we just showed you, he went right over it. He went right over it. So I don't Turned know. Turned my brain into a pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> so we, I only coppered one bed and we're just going to see as an experiment if it works or not. I mean, it's one of two lettuce beds and we know that they like lettuce. Yeah. So if this lettuce bed is less slugs, we know it's working. Yeah. For certain types of slugs or, or whatever. So it's an experiment and we'll see what happens. So stay tuned for the slug experiment. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to show you guys one of the meals that we feed the dogs. They get a different meal um, pretty much every night. So tonight they have oatmeal, a cooked yam, cooked carrots, and half of a banana. And they are super excited. <laughs> okay, guys, stay. Uh, no, stay. Okay. You can kind of see a lot of our life right here. Got the garden pathway started. We got rainwater catch. We got the pizza oven back there, the new poles, the new deck extension, and wasabi. I don't know. I'm I'm really just, you know, garden geek about the wasabi. I think it's really cool. And I'm watching it every day and seeing the rhizome grow. Inside there, the stem grow taller and taller. And when it's a good, thick, mature size, we're going to pick it and grate it up into wasabi. Uh, until then, all these leaves are edible. So these ones have been here for over a year now. You guys saw me build this raised bed back in the day. It's still holding up. It's kind of a cute little circular log bed. And I am noticing little tiny slugs. But for the most part, the slugs don't like the wasabi, but the greens are edible like spinach. So for lunch today, I'm gonna pick a few leaves that I think are kind of weighing them down. I'm gonna have a stir fry with wasabi. So this is like a good one. One of the locals taught me like this. So we can take this guy. I'm gonna get on this right here. I'm gonna eat something now, just crunch it. This one looks pretty tender, let's see. Wow, babe. That was smooth. Very tender, very nice. Get it, babe. So today we're planting two prune plums. Have four logs per tree as a mulch pit. And then we're going to clear the spots for the trees as we go. And as we clear, we throw firewood aside. We're gonna wood chip the sticks, take the wispies for the wok stove and for kindling. Yeah, so nobody in the comments <laughs> say we have a messy area because it's just the two of us and it's hard. And it just shows you've never been to the temperate Canadian rainforest before. Like, Lord. it's not messy, it's beautiful. This is what the entire forest looks like. Yeah, it takes time to clear it with, no, we're not using a tractor and a bulldozer. Like, we're it's just the two of us. It's just us. And, and we, you guys, but you know, all in good time. This is going to be a beautiful paradise of plants and trees and a fruit forest. Dig, come on, dig, 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 dig. Come on, guys, dig, 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 dig. Come on, Kai. Dig Kai, dig, yes Kai, get it. Get it Kai, dig, 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 dig. Dig Puma, dig Puma, dig. Just the two of us, we can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two. Yep.
Can I just take a second with Nicole's hole here to admire the soil? So look at all this topsoil here. This is like the topsoil. It's so dark and rich with life. And then she's now hit the bottom and we have like this beautiful brown dirt underneath. And we're gonna add a little bit of compost to this, but like, look at how beautiful. So I rip on the logging process, but because they layered all the pieces that the loggers didn't want back 40 years ago, all the leftover sticks has turned this entire property into a hugelkultur experiment. And now it's all just this rich soil full of nutrients. And Wanna mix that up? Come on, logs. And I'm disappeared down the down the channel. Look how deep that goes. And then back over here also. I'll just plant the tree right in there. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Perfect. Perfect. Tired and done. Yes. <sighs> okay. Watch this. Ready? Yeah. They went through the mulch pit. <laughs> <laughs> 